Hello and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband's Floris Mod. I'm your host, Arnold the Singer. Well, um, hmm. Let's take a look at something sovereign relations. I looked up what casus belly means, and apparently it means. I have provoked the Saranid Sultanate. I think they have 21 days to declare war upon me, or else Sultan Hakim will lose face amongst his lords. I believe that is what that means. It also means I can't make any truces with them, which might explain why the Kyrgyz did not enter a truce or whatever with me. Hmm. The Saranids have been defeating the Kyrgyz rather badly, as you can see. Saranids have a decent army, whereas the Kyrgyz have the smallest army, I believe, of all the factions that remain. I think I'll try and build a, you know, trade agreement or something with them. You know, nothing significant. I've also been giving lots of my lords more troops from my garrison since, well, I have more troops than I really need. Anyway, I have encountered the bandit leader Chingus once again, and I have these guys following me, so should be a good fight. Hmm. Now how to go about this? Are they close enough to join me? Now, if it was night time, they would not be. But I think they are now. Bulba. At least Bulba has joined me. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Surrender or die. Okay, we have roughly equal numbers. Should be fun. I've put a bunch of my manhunters and whatnot in the front. Well, slaver chiefs and slave crushers. I kind of miss being able to have my companions sell all their loot automatically. to be honest. I now have to go into their inventories and take all their loot. Ooh. <laughs> this one gave me a bit of a hit. Fortunately, I have a lot of iron flesh. <laughs> so, I am basically invincible. I have not lost any of my slaver chiefs ever since I put them in the front of my army. I mean, I have 27 of them. They're pretty damned expensive. So I'm keeping them at the front, but fighting bandits doesn't seem to be causing any casualties. I suppose I have to be in an unfavorable position for them to, you know, be doing badly. <laughs> Perhaps I need to fight a Lord's party to reduce their numbers. I think I'll keep them in the front of my army so long as they have more than 20 troops that can fight. Hopefully we get a lot of these prisoners. I'll tell Lord whoever he is to go to Ichimar and I will sell them there to the slave trader who is in residence. Hmm. 
Well, my plan to increase the um, relation with my lords is doing rather well, I would say. Have hmm. increased several of the lords to twenty relation with me or more. Uh, after the last video, uh, the marshal had gathered several lords. I looked to see which of my supporters had less than 20 relation with me, and I took out troops from the garrison at um, Amarad, where he was gathering his the lords, and I probably increased three or four different lords. You know, I have way too many troops as it is. I don't even have to recruit more troops because I just take, you know, troops from my uh, you know, the prisoners I capture. Mm. I wanted to kill that one. Well, there are lots of horses running around. <laughs> wow, that's close. Of course, my horse is very tough. And I don't seem to be taking any extra pull arm damage that I was getting. Which makes the game a little less realistic, I think, you know, because spears and pull arms probably did a lot more damage to horses, even if they were armoured. You know, if they get them in the right way, you know, speed bonus. A horse charges right into a spear, it's going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> should have let my allies take the brunt of the enemy assault first, you know, because the two lords following me have a lot of troops. I really need to change my slaver chiefs into a, their own sort of selection. I'll mark them as elephants under the four key. Hmm. To select them I'll press four. Okay, we have a hundred wounded. That's amazing. If we can get a hundred more, that'd be great. <laughs> oh dear, my man. <laughs> and I haven't been to my capital in a few days. Still haven't received any message about a feast occurring. Hmm. Okay, everyone can charge now. Ooh. <laughs> Nice shot. Hmm. 
We seem to be experiencing a little lag. To be expected, I suppose. <laughs> I'll go after the big group. See, if the damage modifier were there, I would have lost 30 health to my horse, probably. I'm getting fairly decent at horse archery now. You know, when you don't have the fastest horse, you should learn how to use your bow on your horse. Or some sort of ranged weapon. Well, we're getting a lot of knocked unconscious. Hmm. Could have almost 200 troops to sell. <laughs> that would be great. I'm not going to take any myself. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the bandits. You know, in case my uh, friends here can't keep up. <laughs> pretty sure we have. Might be one more wave of guys who've gone beyond the battle perimeter. <laughs> Too routed. Hmm, 70 wounded. Well, that's a lot of soldiers. I'll let my companions take those. Uh, do I want to take these? Yes. Yes, I do. I will put them in Ichima or something. But will I be able to catch them? And that's a good question. I took out Chingus. But I am pretty fast. Then again, hmm. Okay, there's just the one guy left. I'll take him out and go over here. That works.
I'll upgrade my companions later. After the next battle. Slaver Chief got wounded. I could have sworn there were a hundred and seventy prisoners. Oh well. Well, I think I'll take this guy off screen. You know, it's going to be more of the same. Hmm. Well, I think after I take those guys out, I'll go over to the Rodok territory and take out a mountain bandit army. I haven't taken out one of those in some time. The road ox will remain in a truce with us for another 12 days. I'll try and build a trade agreement with the Kurgits, not that they have much to trade. And they probably are trading with me when you think about it. I mean, they're probably trading with Amarad or Toga here and Nalag. Well, they might be going to Ichima, but then again, they might be going to Kudan. I won't ex. I won't spend much money. I'm not going to spend any money to build their relation with me. Just, you know, send Floris to negotiate. It seems as though Veluca has been taken by the Nords. Well, the Nords are becoming the largest faction around. That will be good. The other factions will go to war with them when they see them as a threat. They consider me a threat too, but I'm only the second largest faction. The Nords have deteriorated into a trade agreement with me now. And then it's some sort of truce kind of thing, and uh, after that it'll just be peace. Once I've pushed the Rodox out of this Rodox territory here, I will attack the Nords. Yes. If the Saranids go to war with me, I'm definitely taking these two castles down here. Hmm. What to do? Well, I think that's my plan thus far. Anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. See you then.